Coming up on First at Four, people at East Ridge High School gathered for a prayer circle after a teenager was killed in a car crash. And a PGA golfer was arrested this morning in Louisville. What officials say happened coming up. Plus, wet and gloomy weather continues to end the work week. Your forecast coming up as Mountain News First at Four starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Huntsley. First at Four, a car crash in Elkhorn City yesterday killed one teenager and left her community in shock. WYMT's Buddy Forbes was there as the community gathered to remember the student. After a car crash yesterday claimed one of their own, the Eastridge High School community gathered together today to pray and share her story. 17-year-old Zena Newsom died yesterday, leaving a community to mourn what they say is an unimaginable loss. The student athlete was known by all as a loving spirit and a friend to everyone. Today, the community showed up to her high school, joining hands and praying for comfort to wash over her family and fellow warriors. Really sweet, and I couldn't thank her enough for that. And I know all of her close friends are going through a very tough time in her family, and I'm just praying for all of them. Her classmates, teammates, and teachers say the light she shared while she was here will forever be her legacy. In Pike County, Buddy Forbes, WIMT Mountain News. We'll hear from some of Newsom's friends and teammates coming up at 6. We are tracking some gloomy weather to close out the work week on this Friday, but some better weather is not too far away. For now, though, on first alert pinpoint Doppler, tracking some more widespread showers on this Friday afternoon. Let's zoom into the Cumberland Valley. Some light to moderate showers now for parts of Whitley County, close to I-75, also close to Williamsburg, and a few more heavier downpours not too far away from Somerset over in Pulaski County at this hour. Some more light showers in the Big Sandy Valley from Floyd County, pushing into Martin, also Pike Counties, and for Buchanan, Dickinson, Mingo, and Logan counties over in West Virginia at this hour. And more light showers to a few sprinkles close to the Mountain Parkway from Stanton, pushing close to Campton for Wolf County, also close to Beattyville and Salyersville over in McGoffin County at this hour. Most of us in the upper 60s to lower 70s, up to 69 for London, also Jackson, up to 68 for Pikeville, 70 for Manchester and Harlan at this hour. Now we are tracking some more hit or miss showers to go into this evening, also some dense fog to wake up up and kick off your weekend and speaking of your weekend a few more showers tomorrow but we are trending drier and warmer by Sunday Monday Tuesday those details coming up in just a few minutes Steve all right Cameron thank you three people are in trouble after police say they engaged in several schemes to smuggle drugs into an eastern Kentucky jail the Lee County Sheriff says problems first started in February. Inmates were scheming to get bonded out, then having their bond revoked to get back into jail to bring drugs back in with them. Sheriff Joseph Lucas says they were caught then and three people were caught again Thursday while attending court in Estill County. Two of those players was rearrested yesterday in Estill County trying to smuggle uh, drugs in, back into the jail. Uh, they taped it to the handrail as they go up the steps. Police say Tommy McIntosh was the current inmate charged along with his sister, Sabrina Olinger and Bradley Morrison. All are charged with trafficking meth. Second round play at the PGA Championship in Louisville was delayed today by a fatal road accident and the arrest of one of golf's top players. CBS's Donya Backus has that story. Scotty Scheffler eventually teed off at the PGA Championship in Louisville Friday after a chaotic morning that landed him in jail. He's going to jail, and it ain't nothing you can do about it. The world's number one ranked golfer is facing numerous charges, including assaulting a police officer. It all happened after a fatal road accident that caused a massive traffic jam heading to the golf course. Police say Scheffler disobeyed orders to stop his car, accelerated forward, and dragged an officer to the ground. I believe he attempted to explain who he was and why he was trying to get onto the golf course, but uh, I'm not sure that that information quite got to the police. Scheffler said in a statement that he was proceeding as directed by officers, that it was a chaotic situation and, quote, a big misunderstanding of what I thought I was being asked to do. I never intended to disregard any of the instructions. 
The 27-year-old golfer has hired a local attorney. We, we'll, we'll just let it all play out. That, that's the extent of what we know. It's moving pretty fast at this time, but we'll litigate the case as it comes. Scheffler is the hottest player on the PGA Tour. The Masters champ is seeking his fifth win in six starts and a second consecutive major title. Donya Backus, CBS News. Senator Robert Menendez was in federal court today in Manhattan for the continuation of his bribery trial. The jury selection started Monday. He's facing bribery and extortion charges. Menendez is accused of acting as a foreign agent to benefit the governments of Qatar and Egypt. He and two other businessmen have pleaded not guilty. A proposed North Carolina law would make it illegal to wear masks in public. Wednesday, Republican senators passed a bill revoking a pandemic-era law allowing for masks to be worn in public for health concerns. The bill would enhance penalties for people wearing masks while committing crimes. It would also prohibit wearing masks in public for medical reasons. The bill passed along party lines 30 to 15. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is warning of a resurgence of MPOX, the infectious disease formerly known as monkeypox. The alert comes ahead of pride events across the world, which start June 1st. MPOX spread to tens of thousands of gay and bisexual men around the world in 2022. The CDC is warning there is currently an epidemic of an even deadlier version of the disease in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Coming up on First at Four, why two new stores could play such a crucial role in feeding folks in Breathitt County. Plus, we are tracking some more rain chances to start the weekend, but drier and warmer weather is not far away. Stay with us, your forecast coming up. Hey, from just down the road in Knoxville, Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley here at WVLT Sister Station and definitely proud to still be a part of the family with Steve Hensley. You were a huge part of the start of my career. Really the first couple of years, I couldn't have done it without you. Steve, there's no shock at all that you're celebrating your 25th anniversary, continuing to bless the lives of many, including young journalists who are aspiring to grow their career. So thank you for all you're doing every day for Eastern Kentucky and for folks like me. Continue the great work.